In this video, I will demonstrate a solution to a problem on gears. This is the problem and uh, we will have to solve for the number of teeth and the diameter of the smallest pinion which can mess with the gear with 15 teeth. The module is 10 mm, the addendum is equal to the module. We will solve the problem following these uh, steps. As a first step, we calculated the diameters of the pitch circle, the base circle, and the addendum circle. This figure shows the gear. So we can proceed with the step number two. We draw the three circles, the addendum circle, pitch circle, and the base circle. And now we proceed with the step number three. We draw the line of centers of the gear and pinion. This line of centers was drawn from the start of the axis of rotation of the gear. We can now proceed with the, the next step, which is uh, drawing the line of action. So with the three circles, we can draw the line of action. And uh, we know that this line of action is 20 degrees from the vertical. At that point of tangency, we can draw this uh, line, which we understand is also 20 degrees from the horizontal. We can now proceed with the determination of the tentative radius of the pinion. The intersection of the line of action and the addendum will give us the point of interference of the pinion with the gear and uh, from this point we can draw this line it intersects the line of centers and uh, that intersection is now the tentative axis of rotation of the pinion and this distance is the uh, tentative radius of the base circle of the pinion so we proceed further uh, knowing that the axis of rotation of the pinion is uh, this point, we can draw this uh, base circle and pitch circle, tentative circles. From measurements, we can determine these diameters of the uh, pitch circles and base circles. And uh, we can compute the uh, number of teeth of the pinion. With the number of teeth of the pinion, we can proceed with the calculation of the uh, diameters of the pinion. And the diameter of the pinion is 130 millimeter. With this, we can show this uh, two gears. The problem involving the diameter and the number of teeth of the smallest pinion is now solved. 